So here's something you can do at home. You don't need any fancy tools or anything, but I'm just gonna put this in a cardboard box, right? Punch some holes in a cardboard box. And that's about, about an eighth of an inch, six millimeters or so. <clears throat> so just where my marks are, of course I can't see them. <laughs> just punch a hole there. Your, did I get them right? Uh, close. <laughs> I'll make this a little bigger. Oh, there we go. I think a little bigger. I can get them in there. There we go. So now everything's held firmly, easy. Don't have to worry about it. Again, don't need any fancy tools. And I've got my diagram right here beside me and my switch and pots are oriented exactly the same way as the diagram so that way we should mitigate any mistakes right? right so the first thing I've done is put the capacitor in this is a 0 0.022 orange drop capacitor I've attached that to the middle lug of the tone pot through the third lug on the volume pot and to the pot itself, the back of the pot. So that's step number one. Okay, now I'm going to attach the first lug of the volume and tone pot to each other with just a small piece of wire. It's actually like a piece of the feet from the capacitor that I trimmed off. Right? Okay. Make sure your solder is nice and shiny when it's in there. That means it's taken well. It's good. So once I solder it, then I'm going to clip off a little bit of that excess wire. Don't want that touching anything else that it doesn't need to. we go. Okay, so that was step two. Just turned it around to show you. So I've collect, connected the two first slugs here. Get that little piece off. Oh, is that touching anything? No. Okay, that's good. All right, we'll turn it back in the correct orientation. <laughs> so before I attach that wire, I need to put a little jumper between these two lugs right here. So I'm going to solder these lugs again, put a little more on. And I made a little jumper here, like a little U shape. So we have to. I'm going to probably use some pliers here because this will get hot, I think. So I want to get them right into the lug. So if I put one in first, then I can bend the other one in a little easier. So I'll get this one in here. Once that hardens, that's good. Now I can just sort of push it towards the other lug. Using the pliers, we'll be able to get it in there. It's always tricky sometimes just to get the right angle that you want. Well, especially I'm filming this too, right? <laughs> so it makes it a little harder, of course, if I was just doing it. Okay, that's pretty good, but I can put some solder on that now. There we go. I 
Now we can get this wire into that space again. Heat that up. In she goes and let it harden. There we go. Now tidying things up you can you know, move the wires a little bit once they're not as hot. <laughs> there we go, just a touch. Okay, next step. Alright, so I have to make two more jumpers. One from this lug to that lug and this lug to that lug. Again, as per the diagram. So that's everything I can do right now um, with the pots, capacitor, and the switch. So I need this to be in the guitar so I can start putting the pickups into it. Now, there is, of course, I could do the output jack actually. We'll do that now as well. So when you're wiring the output jack, this is the hot contact right here. That's what, when you put in your output jack, see it hits the tip of your quarter inch jack and that's what transmits the signal. So what you have to make sure when you're wiring these two lugs, one lug is for the hot and one is the ground. So pull it out when you look at it. So if you follow the output right this pin here and you look in between the layers <laughs> the sandwiching you can see which one is hot and when I look at this I can see that it's this one right here so what you can do is take a little sharpie and I'm gonna put a mark on the black one which is the ground You know, it just helps you remember which one is which. So that's going to be the ground, that's going to be the hot. Okay, so I've got a black wire ready, I've got a white wire ready. I've cut them pretty long so that we don't have any issues. So I'm just going to, again, we're going to tin the tips of these first. So I hang it out here. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> so we're going to tin the lugs on the output jack. Okay, and then I'm going to put some solder on the tip of the, the wire off camera here, sorry. There we go. Okay, so we want the white one, the white wire to be our input. So I'm going to put that in here. Once it's in there, should be able to just, uh, just hold a cable like that. Should be able to come back and put a little more on. There we go. Oh, moved on me. Let me fix that. Okay, so I'm going to put the ground wire in here now. Let that harden up. Okay, so I have the output jack soldered up. So we've got the output lead here in white and the ground in black. And I want to point out that when you do this, you want to make sure that your ends of your wires do not interfere or touch the barrel of the output jack. Because I, I see a lot of issues like that where there's long pieces sticking out and then you get some grounding out happening or static. So that's, you know, that's a good distance away. You can see each side, it's not going to touch. You can bend them in a little bit. If you, if, you know, for some reason it's not going to fit into the hole, right, that's in the body. But yeah, so that looks good.
Okay, so before I do anything else, certainly bringing the guitar back, I want to brush this off, make sure there's nothing there. Thing looks good. There we go. And we'll zoom out. Okay, so we have pickup leads. We have ground wires. <laughs> so we just have to figure out what's what on this guitar. I'm just going to take these strings off. They're not uh, helping anything right now. They're just getting in the way. <laughs> dust and stuff on this guitar. <laughs> okay, so I was hoping that uh, you know, by jiggling some of these wires I could see you know, movement, but it's such a tight little hole that they've got here and both of the pickup wires come through the same hole there. You can see it. This hole at the back is just for the bridge wire. So uh, I'm kind of thinking I, I want to take this off and that way <coughs> excuse me I'll be able to see which wire goes where that was a little crunchy eh? I don't know why it was crunchy like that it almost sounded like a little finish <laughs> it's coming off but I don't think so Actually, I want to have a look at the bridge wire, grounding wire too, so let me reposition the camera. Okay, so... Okay, so you can see that the neck wires come through here. A lot of times you'll have a route that goes across this way, right? So it separates the two, which is better. And we've got... Okay, so there's the neck, there's the bridge. Here's the ground wire. Okay, so I think what I'll do with the ground wire <coughs> is I'm going to put a little bit of tape on there. Make sure that wire doesn't move around and also stays where it's supposed to be. And this uh, aluminum tape is conductive. So I'll just get that back where it was. Some tape over it. There we go. Shouldn't move around now. Okay, so let's find out which one's which. So I pull on this wire, pull on this wire. So I think I've got it. Yeah. <laughs> Separate it out. This one, and then the, yeah, so these two right here, they belong together. Let me grab those again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I can just do something like that and put some tape so I know. And now these two 
these two go to the neck, of course. Unless there's a third pickup somewhere. <laughs> okay, we know and then we know this is the bridge. Okay, investigation over. We'll put this back on. We'll get back to soldering. Alright, first thing to do here is to fish these output wires into the hole to get into the control cavity. There we go, and again I made these really long, just in case. And now you can see if it fits well, <coughs> nothing's interfering. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to spin that around maybe. See if the holes line up better. Nope. They're close. <laughs> yeah, they're good enough. Okay, I'm going to get those screws on there. Okay, I've screwed it back in and really just want to test, make sure it goes in, it holds, doesn't wiggle around. It's good. Okay, well it's time to wire in the pickups now. So, grab our solder, soldering iron, and we're going to get to work a bit here. So I'm just going to tin up these lugs that we're going to attach the pickup leads to. There's a good little blob of solder on there. Okay, looking good. So this one is the hot from the neck, and that one's going to go right here on this second lug. Okay, now we're a little closer. Hope my arm doesn't get in the way. <laughs> it's always difficult doing this while you're filming. So I'm going to put that. This is the neck pickup. There we go. Let that solidify. That's good. And this one is the bridge pickup, right? So that one goes onto this lug right here. Again, I'm just referring to the diagram. I'll be the first one to admit I've made mistakes, you know, even with a diagram sitting right there in front of me. So take your time and just, uh, you know, if you, you think you've messed up, well, you just go back, right, and just check it over again. Okay. Those two look good. Now we have the ground wires here to deal with, right? So the ground wires, we need to put a ground line, if we locate them here. So this one, this one is the ground wire from the neck. This one is the ground wire from the bridge. This one is the bridge ground wire. It goes under the bridge here. So all of these have to get attached to the back of the pots here. Okay, so I'm going to put some solder on the back of the volume pot right here. And this will be for our ground. We also need some on the back of the tone pot here as well, so I'll do that. Okay, again, just following the diagram. So we're going to take this one is the neck pickup, so that's the ground for the neck pickup. I'm put that right in that blob. Whoop. Now, what's going to happen, of course, is when I heat it up again <laughs> to put the neck pickup, now the bridge pickup in, it's going to come out, right? So this is where you have to either solder these two together or just get them on. And then I'll come back with some solder. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, the only two wires I have left are the output jack wires, and so the ground and the hot. So the hot wire has to go to the middle lug of the volume pot, and the ground I can put you know, on the back of any of these, but I'll put it right back here on the tone pot. But I don't need them this long, of course, right? So measure them out with a little bit of slack. I'll go under here like that. You know, something like this. Cut that, and then this one, the same thing. A little, cut it back with a little slack. And this shielding I can just sort of get with my thumbnail, which is nice. It's a silicone shielding. Shielding. Good. Okay, so we're going to tin these and attach those to where they go. So let's put a little solder on the end of that. This is the ground wire for the output jack. We're going to put that to the back of the tone pot. Let's get that in there, flow that a bit. There we go. Good. Now we need some solder. I can move that out of the way. Stay under there. <laughs> I need some solder right there in the middle lug of the volume pot. Again, don't breathe this stuff in. I have some left here to tin that with. Okay. Twist that up a bit. There we go. Uh, I'm going to keep the soldering iron on <laughs> in case there's anything I need to change. So right now, we should be all wired up. Yeah. Okay, let's... So we're going to test this, of course, before buttoning it up. And put that back in. And I have to make sure everything fits in there well. You know, I don't need to I can move things like the capacitor. Can move that a bit, get the wires pressed down. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, well, moment of truth here, right? We're going to plug it in, turn on the amp. We'll go to the neck pickup. Good. Both pickups. Yeah. And just the bridge. How's the tone? Tone's working. Good. All right, so everything's working. We're going to button this up. Plug it up. And we've got the two knobs. Those are nice. So when you have a set screw and a split shaft, um, you have to be mindful of where you put the set screw. Now what you can do is take a like a old pick or something and you can put two pieces in there and like wedge them in. But what I find the best thing to do is with the split here, you don't want to be tightening the set screw against that split and it's going to crush the two call them splines on each side. So what you do is you take the set screw and I'm going to turn both of these the same way and you're going to see where the split is, that's where you're going to put the set screw. Just like that. I have my 1.5 and you can tighten it down and that won't crush you know, these two splines here. Same here. There we go. Okay, they're not coming off. Those look good. And then we have this tip here. Again, I'm not a fan of that, and I don't think it's going to fit. No, it's not going to fit. It's the wrong size for this switch. Hmm. I'll have to look in my stock, see if I have any. Aha! I found one.
<laughs> in my stock here, which I prefer too. I like the round knobs on the tellies better than these. I don't know, these are like top hats, I guess <laughs> you call them. So these are press fit. Look at that, there we go. Okay. These come off anyways, you know, like you can glue them on, but if you glue them on, you know, obviously they're going to be hard to get off if you want to, but there we go. That looks better. I'm going to do a couple of tests before wrapping this video up. So we'll just do some continuity testing. That's good. I can't test up at the uh, tuning machines because we don't have any strings, but yeah, all well, that's good. The other thing I would test is the output of the pickups through the new pots and capacitor. So we're going to test the resistance now of these pickups. So I'm going to put the hot on the tip of the output jack and the ground on the barrel. That should give us a number. So the neck position, we're at 5.63 ohms. The bridge, we're at 5.49. So pretty balanced and then in between should be about half of that 2.81 yeah so overall pretty balanced set uh, pickups in that sense okay well that's it for this video we've changed the pots the switch output jack <laughs> made a few modifications along the way um, I'll set this guitar up and uh, call it my buddy and tell them to come pick it up, but uh, maybe I'll make a video, I'm not sure yet. But it's a nice guitar, I like the color. I hope it shows up okay on the camera. It's a creamy sort of white. I don't think it's Olympic white. Like, it's a little too creamy for that. Even aged, it didn't, you know, when I took the pick guard off, we didn't see any aging there, so I think this is the color. But anyways, if anyone knows, put it in the comments. Nice telly, can't go wrong with a telly. Okay. Bye for now.